Test Kitchen! Mr. Cheesy Pop! Hey everyone, it's Max. I'm here at Pim Test Kitchen for all the food at Avengers Campus. Take a look at this. This is your menu, which I love that it is actually a phone. How neat is that? Like, it's just so cool. So, uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get a few items and we will eat some things. I've been waiting in the standby queue, which has wrapped all the way around. I've waited about an hour and a half. I'm next to go in. There's also mobile order here, but mobile order, it's opening day that I, I've come on, and mobile order went like that this morning, like 9 a.m., God. So, uh, we're here. I have people with me, which means, yeah, $100 sandwich time. The $100 sandwich is just a very large version of this. So we're gonna do it. Here we go. Hi, Dad. Everything okay? You need help? Wow. Here it is inside, looking good. It's pretty empty. They have the one, one standby order kiosk here. That's it. So here's my beer the chocolate bar and a little disc particle. That's for you, Peyton. It's here! The $100 panini. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah! Thank you to the chefs of Pim Test Kitchen! Woo! Thank you guys. I'm ready to devour this. <laughs> Hope you have some friends. I do. Oh! <laughs> My goodness gracious, it's just uh, too much. But yeah, we got it all! Yeah, $100 sandwich! <laughs> Aren't you guys ready to do this? Yes. The $100 family style Pimini is here. This is the gigantic pretzel. That's the buffalo pretzel. That's the chicken not so little sandwich with the tots. That's the kids chicken. That's the choco smash bar. That's a PBJ shake thing. That's beer. That's some more. Oh, those are cold brew. Nitro cold brew. These are from Terran Treats. The churro and the what is that? The, <laughs> we don't know. The purple orange. Purple thing. thing. <laughs> I think I think we got enough. Okay, let's eat. I love the way they line all of the trays. Oh, my secret recipe sky. See, I love that. I'm honestly so happy that the restaurant is Ant-Man themed because I, I love them. Yeah. This is this is perfect. Honestly, just looking at all of this, th this is really innovative. I love how they did this. Let's see how it tastes. Boom, it's happening. All right, this is the Pimini. So we got, what do we got? We got, we got ham? What else is in here? I'm going to... Take the first bite. Should I dip it in the... Yeah, we gotta dip it because you get a giant bowl of sauce. <laughs> this is so silly. All right, guys, here we go. First bite. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Everyone will try this here at the table, but this kind of is like a big old pizza. Um, what, if you think about it, especially if you dip it in this, here you go, try that. Uh, it, it really just is like a big old pizza, and that's why it actually makes sense that it's cut like this, you, it's very shareable. You know what I really like about this too? So watch this, I can, it's really nice on top, it's really crunchy on top. Um, I, I really, you know, I get major pizza vibes from it, uh, like a big old panini pizza. The ham is really tasty. I like the sauce that they use on here. They have also some 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 sort of herbs inside here as well. Um, this is good. You gotta share it with a bunch of people, and luckily I've got a bunch of people here to share it with. So thank you guys for sharing the the the. the yeah. Hey, everybody's here. Okay. So Courtney over here is a chef, 
And what'd you say this is like? It's like a panini pizza calzone. Yep. Calzone. That that actually is a really great description of this thing. So it's good to have a chef at your table. <laughs> uh, here's a little pickle. Good, yeah. This might be hot though. The word is at the table, this is a little spicy, but not at first. It kicks in later. There it is. Oh, oh, oh. It keeps coming for you. How is it with the sandwich, though? It's good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hey, beer, how's it going? It's going well. Oh. This is a great combo, let me tell you. There's so many things on this table. <laughs> so here goes, guys. We just did some math at the table to find out is the $100 panini worth $100. So one, if you buy one panini, it's $14.49? Yes. $14.49 times eight, because you get eight slices, is? $115.92. $115.92. So you're saving $15 by getting a family style plus you get a whole thing of tots and some salad so it's a money saver at Disneyland compared to other Disney prices all right <laughs> oh wait I used my annual pass on this legacy pass holder so my calculator doesn't do that it knocked it down to like 90 some you know is that, you know, so we're all good it's a discount if you have a very large group of people because it's eight slices that's how it's a discount otherwise is it worth a hundred dollars it tastes good though i forgot to have a tot okay excellent tots i don't have much else to say about the tots other than they are what you'd expect they're really good i'm gonna try the chicken thank you for cutting up the chicken amanda we, we've got it is it, all portioned out for everybody and they left me the part with the bun so sweet <laughs> hello chicken so my not so little chicken is now pretty little oh this works with the whole theming of the restaurant actually this actually goes to show you how big the chicken is because look at the size of this that's still a pretty decent portion <laughs> right so let's try this chicken So this chicken, I like the sauce on here. It's got a bleh, little heat. You can kind of see what they do here. They, they squash these things down here. They're pounding out these chickens. You know, anyone ever have chicken katsu? Yes. Is it kind of? It's exactly like chicken katsu. It's chicken katsu. Like texture wise. It's chicken katsu with, it, with some sort of chipotle, a little spice. Um, I like it. I think it's good. I think I like the panini better. Yeah. Yes? I agree. Panini better? Panini better. Panini. I gotta try the arugula. Panini. Yum. It's just a very light dressing. It's actually nice to have something like fresh after all of this <laughs> madness. <laughs> I'm not like, oh yeah. What did my body need? Arugula. Not the beer. <laughs> arugula, yeah. We did wait two hours for this food in the standby queue. Uh, I don't know what it's gonna be like when you come to Avengers Campus, but the mobile order here was done in the nine o'clock hour. I mean, it was gone. So, be prepared to wait or get on mobile order before you get here. I don't know what to tell you. It's crazy, <laughs> but I do like the panini. How big is the actual pretzel? Yeah, it, it's that big. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, pretzel time. Right. What time is it? Pretzel time. I'm gonna dip it in some beer cheese. Yeah. I didn't get enough. Let's do it again. Yeah, beer cheese. All right, pretzel, beer cheese. I don't think you could go wrong with this, honestly. Whoa. 
Mm. That's awesome. That beer cheese is like thick. The beer cheese is so thick. It's not like that plasticky cheese thing you're gonna find in a lot of places. That's that's legit cheese. That that's legit beer cheese. Yes, it just has a totally different texture. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, get the pretzel. Get the pretzel. So my friend Anna here got the kids plate. The kids chicken. It was actually a really good sized portion of food. If you're an adult and you don't want to eat a ton of food or you just want normal sized things, get the kids, get the kids chicken. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try the Choco Smash candy bar, which is melting. Uh, this is what it looks like inside. Kind of looks like a big old Snickers, yeah? All right, well, okay. I'm feeling it already, man, <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's really chewy. Get the giant Snickers. I'm still chewing it. I've been chewing that bite for over a minute. Where's the giant Snickers? Because it's got chocolate and nougat and peanuts and caramel and brownie it's a lot but it's good cosmic cream orb this is from Terran treats let's I just want to cut it and see what's going on in here it's very purple okay all right okay that's not bad yeah it's a cream puff uh, but it's got uh, purple raspberry stuff on the inside. A whipped raspberry mousse, if you will. That's actually, um, yeah, that's good, okay. And finally, from Terran Treats, we got the sweet spiral ration, which is a churro that looks like that, and it's green. Let's just take a little tiny bite of this guy. Justin's got one too. What do you think of it? Do you like it? Oh my gosh, that's really green. That's weird green. I love green. It's my favorite color, actually. But... <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a sweet churro. Like a Fruity Pebbles kind of churro? I'm not sure the middle is cooked. <laughs> yeah, the middle is not cooked. It's supposed to be pineapple? Oh! Okay. Yeah, it's a little tropical flavored. Like a sugary cereal churro. All yours, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, uh, what they pour in here? A PB&J punch from Pim? I'm good. No. <laughs> Yes! You know, watching this at home is fun. Watching it in person, it feels kind of weird. I, like, I just want to oh. take it away from them. Here. Take it away. <laughs> you know what I like? I like beer. I like tots. There we go, Max. I like... I like wet naps. He's on your tongue. Look at the service here. <laughs> we are picking up our drinks at Pim Test Kitchen now. I'm so excited to see how this all works. Let's do it. Okay, so... Honey buzz. Uh, particle, uh, particle fizz, sorry. Particle fizz right there. Honey buzz. Honey buzz. These are cool. This is neat. Honey fusion. Honey fusion. So this is the one with the beer. This is just... The gin. Gin. This has got... Oh, what is that? The seltzer. Hard seltzer. Okay, cool. Awesome. Thank you. Here are the cocktails. This is the Honey Buzz Plymouth Gin Lemon Juice Honey Syrup with a Honey Straw. This one is the Honey Fusion. This is a beer cocktail with the gin and the straw. So there's beer in this one and the honey. This one is Particle Fizz. <laughs> this, is the, this is the hard seltzer one uh, with, with pog juice and there's boba down here. Okay, let's go. Honey Buzz. Oh, I like that one. You know what? Yes, I knew I would probably like that one the best because um, I like lemon and honey, so I think that's a great combo. So that's what you're getting there. You know, all these drinks are pre-mixed, 
So you're not gonna get like a drink, drink. You know, if you want a drink, drink, you go to Carte Circle. So that's good, but it's not like a drink. This one's the Honey Fusion, so this has got the beer in it. Oh, okay. That's that's a little less sweet because of the beer, honestly. So you're cutting the sweetness, which I actually like uh, because the other one is pretty sweet. Particle fizz time. This is a seltzer. Yeah, that's fine. You know what? Because not everyone likes beer. Not everyone likes hard alcohol. Seltzer's really in. And it actually is... All of my, all of all of my seltzer fans, you're going to actually really like that one. It's nice and light and and fruity and refreshing, so it's actually good. I just don't love seltzer, but I think that's actually really good. I'm happy with my choice, though. Cheers! I got the honey stick here, so I want to. Oh, mmm, well, that's nice. I like that. Mmm. Oh, my hands are really sticky, though. Where are the wet naps? So we were just having a discussion about the, the, the cocktails. Um, we all like our cocktails a lot, actually. I was just talking about how, uh, so this is a gin drink and how I prefer um, bourbon and bourbon and lemon and honey is such a great combination, but I understand the gin as well. Little floral notes to this is, uh, to make it more refreshing, I get it. So I think they all work. I think they all work. But like I was saying, it's not, a bar there. Everything is pre-mixed, so that's how you get them. Uh, but I, but they're good. And look at this cup. Pretty neat. Overall, the, the, the design of everything here at Pim Test Kitchen and Pim uh, Tasting Lab, that's the name of it, Pim Tasting Lab, uh, the design is perfect. They did it up just a like, marvelous job. Uh, okay. So having gotten most things on the menu here at Pim Test Kitchen, I can tell you, uh, I think the paninis were real good. That's the star for me. I like the chicken. I, I do. I think it's really flavorful. If you like katsu, you will like it. I just like the panini better. The tots are excellent. Uh, the pretzel is a star. Choco smash is like a is like a Snickers. Um, I didn't like the peanut butter, whatever drink. Oh, how was the buffalo uh, pretzel? Oh, that was wonderful. You like that? Okay, buffalo pretzel, good. So all in all, I think that, I think I think things are going well here. It's just it's a lot, and we ate uh, what we could of the panini. I'm gonna go uh, get a box. Anne is getting us a box now, uh, and I'll have the rest of it later. So that's good. We did it, and I'm really full. <laughs> Do not eat everything on the menu. The stunts in this video were performed by a professional. Eat one item at a time. A few of us at the table were just eating more arugula because it really just settles the stomach. And I, it's really true. So, you know what? Maybe arugula is the star of Pim Tess Kitchen. <laughs> That's gonna do it for this video from Pim Tess Kitchen. If you haven't seen my entire Avengers Campus video, you should go check that out here. Like, subscribe, check out my Patreon page. Have a magical day, everybody! Bye!